Hi everybody, welcome to our second episode of Estheticians React to Celebrity Skincare Routines. If you don't know me already, I am super shocked. Welcome to Zona Med Spa's Instagram page. <laughs> My name is McKenna, I'm the office manager here at Zona. I am a licensed esthetician, however, I don't practice here, um, but I know all the things that I need to know to be an esthetician. So, this is going to be really fun. I guess today I am watching Kourtney Kardashian's nighttime skincare routine, Go to Bed With Me. Here we go. Give me a second. Give me a second. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Time to study you come with me. I'm not going nowhere with you, Courtney. Okay, so I have combination skin and my skincare routine is a one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven step process. Okay, wait, actually, it's an eight step process because my first step is putting on our Koosh and Aquist hair turban. This on skincare, that's hair care. Basically, uh, my second step is I use this micellar honey. <sighs> Stop right there. If you have not done your own research and read the blog that we wrote about Mistler Water, specifically Garnier's Mistler Water. You guys, there are carcinogens in Garnier's Mistler Water. If you haven't gone to read our blog about it, please do. Go to our website, click on the blogs. It's not that old, so you should be able to find it pretty easily, but Mistler Water is a no-no. If you're going to, which you should be pre-cleansing, please use an oil cleanser. A makeup wipe is better than Mistler Water. Just don't use Missler water, please. There's a lot of different brands out there, so I tried a bunch and they're all the same. So after a long day of working, filming, um, you know, running around all day, it's so nice to just get my makeup off. Mm -hmm. Okay, next step is Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser, which has recently become my favorite face cleanser. We did it as a push pick of the week, and it's very, um, it doesn't strip your skin, which I've found many face cleansers can strip and leave my skin feeling really dry. So this does not, but it definitely makes my skin feel really clean and, you know, gets my makeup off. So my next step is... So that was her one and only cleanse. Number one, this was a very quick cleanse. Number two, she stopped at the jawline, didn't even go underneath, didn't even touch her neck, didn't touch her decollete. You guys, your neck and your decollete, they're part of your face, they're part of your skin. You have to take care of your neck and your decollete the same way that you do with your face. Those are going to age just as quickly worse if you don't take care of them the same way you would take your face. So when you're cleansing, go whole face underneath the jawline, neck, and decollete. This girl's gonna have an awful chest. A face mask and I love to do, if I have time, I will alternate three different face masks even in one night. This is the Caudalie Instant Detox Mask. This is one of my favorites. I just alternate masks depending on what my skin needs. Okay. I have always been into masks. Um, my skin can break out very easily. You know, it's important to be used. See, now she's going on the neck. But you gotta clean it first and then do the neck. Yes, everything going upwards. Everything goes upwards as I come down on my cheeks. <laughs> I'm not just gonna sit here and watch the mask dry. So while I'm doing my entire skin routine, I sip on our Kush and Vital Proteins pink milk, which is hmm. collagen. Um, I firmly believe in beauty from the inside out. So. Me too, Courtney. Me too. I'm curious to know if that's actually what that means. <laughs> and this one is French Curl Rose. 
rose lip polish. Must be nice. Body, Must be real nice. <laughs> Lucky if I put lotion on my elbows. I'm just gonna put a little, a little pin right there. Courtney spent months and months creating her hyaluronic acid vitamin C CBD serum. Medical grade skincare lines spend years and years and years perfecting their formulas. So next time you go to Sephora and you wanna buy something from Kylie Skin or something from Courtney, keep in mind that the products we carry here in the med spa, those are formulated for many years by chemists months and months to me isn't enough science to support a product and i put the serum on first which i put the serum on nightly but i only do the derma roller three times a week <sighs> This is the first time you've done it this whole video. Derma roller, which I soak in rubbing alcohol for at least 10 minutes after the last time I use it. And then I rinse it. So this is teeny, teeny, tiny little needles. And By now, I hope you know how we feel about derma rollers. Um, they're not necessarily big enough needles to penetrate the skin to cause a bunch of harm. Um, but with rolling versus going in and out like traditional microneedling, um, you can stretch the skin, you can stretch the pores, you can create incredibly large micro tears. Um, Go with the professionals on this one. If you're going to do something along these lines, do a professional microneedling treatment. Derma rollers at home are not ideal. There's a blog post on that. I'm pretty positive too, so. Again, these needles are not large enough to give you true results. She's claiming that um, normal rolling is going to help produce collagen with her skin's texture and tone. Not entirely true. Um, like I said, these needles are not large enough. They don't penetrate deep enough to get that trauma response from your skin like regular microneedling would. Um, it's gonna help your skin's texture by making it saggy and larger pores. Um, just don't dermal roll at home, please. <laughs> this makes me nervous. And it really gets the product into your skin. So it just takes any products that you're using to the next level. And it can help lighten any dark spots, which I definitely get sunspots because we can get in the summer. And, you know, we have so much sunscreen in house. So Good sunscreen. After derma rolling, do not forget to put it into rubbing alcohol. Then I take the serum one more time, and then it really goes. 
was in there. It's zero is so great. It's one of my favorite products. Probably my favorite. Since I have started using hyaluronic serum, which is our Poosh and Aura serum, I often don't have to use moisturizer, but if I feel like my skin is dry, then I love this Dr. Barbara Sturm Face Cream Light. Mm, so, if you don't know this, there is a difference between moisturizing your skin and hydrating your skin. You should be realistically doing both. Hydrating your skin is going to be the hyaluronic acid serum. Moisturizing is going to be your moisturizer you put on top. For optimal hydration, you should be doing both. Um, I'm kind of lazy and I only put on my hyaluronic acid serum. I don't put on moisturizer every night. But like I said, for better results, do them both, do them together. Like I said, my skin can tend to break out, so this one really does not make me break out. And a fun fact about me is that I do not use an eye cream. <laughs> but I don't know if you've noticed when she applies product, she just goes like this. Like you're missing the whole middle part of your face. <sighs> Not the mentality to have with eye creams, you guys. I've seen worse. Could be better, but I've seen worse. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, you guys, and we will see you next time.